Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Empress Series 88. My name is Tanya. Okay, I have clear the energy. Ask Spirit for their help. Let's get to the cards. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Whatever time you press that play button, like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation to the channel, helps me tune into you. These are collective readings, any energy, any sign. Okay, flip the rolls as you see fit. Take what resonates. And thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate you. Past, present, and future energy, my friends, is always at play. Spirit, energy, please, for this beautiful morning. New moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Focus on the positive. Mm, good idea. And full moon in Gemini. Gemini is air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Embrace the flow of life. Oh. Could be a very, like, regimented person. Doesn't stop to smell the roses, so to speak. Works hard. Tries to control things. Yeah. Take a breather. Focus on life. Take a hike. <laughs> Literally, take a hike. And... Realize that you are where you need to be. Whether it's to learn a lesson, receive a blessing. You can't force change or movement faster than spirit is allowing. Think about in the wilderness, the, the Jews had to stay there for 40 years wandering <clears throat> the yeah wandering the wilderness and living off of manna and god's mercy really basically for all those years and they couldn't move any they couldn't like leave until he allowed them to it's like there's a reason why we're in our situation right now, okay? And we can't move it faster. We can work hard. Yes, we can. We have to live to pay our bills, right? We have to pay our bills to live a measure of comfort in this world, obviously. But we need to embrace where we are at this point. Oh, I didn't see this one. This must have been a second card underneath the first one. Um, keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra. Okay, so Libra is air. So this could be for an air sign. This is air prevalent. Keep your heart open. Embrace the flow of life and focus on the positive. Right? Look at what you have in front of you. Because some of you are living pretty good. Some of you have blessings in this life. You have children that you are blessed with. Right? You have a family. For someone here, it's not with the person that you want to be with. That's what I'm hearing. Dedicated effort. All right, so you are putting forth a lot of effort. But it feels like... Uh, Oh, it feels like it's not for what <clears throat> excuse me I'm like my throat is like giving me a hard time and it's not that I have a problem it's the person maybe they don't know how to speak their truth maybe they block their throat chakra yeah it's something like that because it feels like I can't talk today and I know I can talk clearly but somebody is having a hard time even, like, wording what they want. Why they're not satisfied. Because if they have a home, they have a family, you know, a measure of comfort, why are they complaining? You know what I mean? Why? What do they want? What's What more do they want in life? It's like they feel like they should be grateful, but they're not. They're not satisfied. Yeah, something like that. They're working hard, but they feel like it's not who they feel like they should be with, working hard for. I don't know. Mixed with. We'll figure this out. 
He has accelerated motion. See what I'm saying? There's somebody here that really wants to move quickly. There's somebody here that wants to get through this karmic lesson. Maybe they're recognizing it. They're dabbling in spiritism, getting tarot card readings, watching YouTube with tarot card readers like myself. Thank you very much for that. And they want to know when they're going to get out of the cycle. Hmm. Yeah. They want to move faster. That's what it is. They're putting in the effort, right? They're trying to stay positive. Right? And they just feel like there's some disconnect there. Something's missing. Why are they still stuck? It's sort of like that movie Groundhog Day. Why is it over and over again? It's the same thing every day. I want change, but I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. What more do I have to do? Okay, so what did that guy have to do in the movie? Bill, right? It was Bill Murphy, I think it was. What did he have to do? He had to change. He had to be kinder. He had to care more about other people than himself. There was something, you know, self-sacrificing that he had to do on his part and just let go. Like, not try to get out of this. Not try to con people. It was like he just had to be a decent human being. And, yeah, there's, there's something that the open heart, the focusing on the positive, changing your mindset, maybe if you're negative and being negative about your circumstances, or ungrateful, spirit is going to keep you going in that direction, right? Yep, partnerships and alliances, there it is. There it is. There, yep, somebody's wanting to partner with somebody else, team up with somebody else. They could have aligned themselves, partnered up with somebody that they didn't want to, right? Maybe they thought that this person was the one. Yes, 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 yes. Right here, deception and envy. Mm. Yeah, somebody was deceived into a connection. And to have a family with this person, to have a life with this person, kind of duped in a sense. And they thought this person was the better person to team up with. Yeah, intuition's here too. Yeah, intuition, authority, and patience. You didn't use your intuition. Now you are using your intuition. Maybe this person's a boss, authoritative person, right? But they... Yeah, and, and because of that, they were highly sought after person, right? Because they had, they had status. Maybe not so much money, but status. They had that boss energy which was attractive to somebody. But they didn't use their intuition. Now they're using it and they realize they want to get the hell out of Dodge and they're stuck in a situation. Spirit saying you're there for a reason. You're going to learn a lesson. Right? And they're dabbling in spiritism, or tarot card readings, psychic readings, whatever, in order for them to figure out who, were they, did they make a mistake in a connection? Did they pick the wrong person? And they're realizing they did. Right? Or was told they did. They're realizing it too, but I don't know. I don't think they were honest either. I think they needed to, you're there because you need, if this is the person that, you know, is the one with the rules, I think they were deceiving themselves too, and they were deceiving other people throughout their life, right? They weren't truly who they were anyways. I think there's an envy of other people's lives that are happy. Because their, their life is not. Let me get this out. And, <clears throat> and I think, <clears throat> my goodness, fair. come on. And I think it's because of that that they're blocked. You're blocked. Take it how, you know, how it resonates. But I think it's you're blocked for that reason. You made a mistake. Failure's here. But it's an opportunity to learn. That's what Spirit's saying. You have your doubts. I need. I release the need to know all the answers. You're not going to. There's peace and success here. I am being. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. This is what I'm saying. There's negativity and success. I know there is no greater goal than to love. Amen. Amen. And I think that the person that I'm reaching out to today, it wasn't. Success wasn't love. Success was money. 
successful as being that boss authority. Right? They deceive themselves into thinking that that would make them happy in life. Forgiveness is here too. Acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the floor of life. Here, amen. They're resentful and envious of other people that have a, a life that they wish they had. Right? Maybe at first... All they wanted was success in the workforce. <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness, today. And it isn't because I woke up having a problem like this. Mm. Somebody's toe chakra. They don't know how to word it. They don't know how to word it, but I'm wording it. It's like, and they're trying to like say, don't say it. I don't want to show weakness. Well, weakness is a form of strength, my friend. Weakness is a form of strength. And I know that there's some people that watch my channel and they they don't have the best intentions, right? You, uh, for this reading or for me, they, they would rather that I shut the fuck up. But it's not going to happen. Okay, truth is truth, whether you want to hear it or not, whether you like me as a tarot card reader or not, whether you like me as a human being or not, it's, I have to say these, I have to give these messages out, even if it triggers you, uh, that's, there's nothing I can say about that, if it triggers you, there's a reason, you need to change, right, your mindset's not right, spirit's trying to prod you, okay, spirit's not going to come down here and say, Smarten up, right? Stop your trifling ways. Stop your lies and bullshit. Get with the program. No, but they will. He will. He will. They will. However you want to word it, God will send other people and boys to do it for them, such as myself. And I'm always willing. Here I am. Send me. And so are other wonderful tarot card readers that are on this channel that are on this channel. Not just this channel, but and on YouTube itself. On this platform, I should say. Excuse me. And I'll tell you what, I've it's amazing. It's amazing how good some of these people are. I've featured them on my channel before. And I'll tell you, I just absolutely love some of these people. But it's what it is, um, back to the reading, <laughs> instead of the praising, is that it bothers some people when they hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. But that's all we have on this earth is truth. When we deceive, we're going to get caught in our own web of lies eventually. 1313 on my phone, baby. 1313. You cannot lie and think that you're going to get away with it forever and ever. Amen. You're not. Because you are exposed to the universe. 1331. And I'm telling you right now, they see everything. So somebody here was deceived, but there was a deception within that person that created this energy of drawing this person into their life to deceive them, right? That's what you get, as my son would say. You're asking for forgiveness. There's always room for that in this world. There was a failure to use your intuition when you picked a person that you thought was better aesthetically, thought that was better title-wise, somebody that was gonna get you where you needed to go faster. All it's done is gotten you stuck, my friend. I never stop loving you and walking away. Okay, so this is about a part, another person, another choice. Of course it is. Time to heal. So this is a healing time for you. You needed to heal. Unblock me. You want this person to unblock you. And you're in your shadow work. Clearly. Making a choice. Mm-hmm. It's all about choice. It's all about choice. They have a choice too, this other person. To move forward in their life. And maybe they did. Maybe they found somebody else. They found that family that you envy. You're watching this person be happy. And you wish it was you. Where well, you're not happy in your situation. Right? But envying another person only blocks you. 
you're where you need to be where they they are where they need to be right you should be happy if you love a person okay if you love a person truly love a person what does it say that analogy if you love a person let them go if they come back it was meant to be if they don't you gotta move on right if you let that person go if you walked away from that person and that person walked away from you whatever the case right walked away from each other and now they're happy and you're stuck you needed to be stuck to learn a lesson of why did it not work out in the first place why did you turn away from this person what was it about the person that triggered you what was it about the person that they lacked that this other person you chose had more of really use your intuition and think about that why did you make this choice and i don't want to hear i don't know you know why did you do what you did at 10 o'clock why did you do it? why did you do it it was it, it hurt the person right i could feel that it's like that song from jermaine jackson do what you do when you did what you did to me. Love was so good, it filled up all my needs. I was crazy for you. You were crazy for me. So how could something so right go so wrong, my love? Sweet love. Oh my God. Yeah. Something that I didn't do. Was there someone else trying to pull you through? Did they steal you away like a thief in the night? Love like this must take flight. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody, somebody stole you away like a thief in the night, man. And you went. And now you feel guilty about it. Because that choice that you made was the wrong one. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so bottom of the deck, stay in your path and no limits. You're coming to that realization, man. You have a secret love and you're holding on to that person from the past. Mm. Try to make them react. Ooh, that wasn't a smart move. <laughs> they reacted all right. They got the heck out of Dodge. Not good. 1818, man. Not good. All right. You had addictions. You're worth fighting for childhood issues, sleepless nights. So you didn't fight for this connection. You had addictions, could be in the sexual realm, right? You broke. And you had fear of change. But the and uh, the um connection was very intense and you were overthinking it. You have a change of heart in this situation where before you looked at it negatively. And I'm telling you, the negativity, my friend, blocks you every single time. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it blocks you, it traps you. It's like you just, when you, and you should recognize this by now. With your, you're a boss, you're a smart person. Every time you think negatively, negative things happen. Think about it. Go back in time, right? Rewind every time, and you still keep doing it, man. Why? Change. Learn. Grow. I can't do it for you. I can't pull the bug out of your ass. I can't change your circumstance. I can't open the door for you. I can guide you, man, but I can't. Like they say, you can lead a person to water, you can't make them drink. I can tell you these things, but if you're not willing to change, if you're not willing to learn your lessons, you're going to keep going through them over and over again. In this life, the next life, you know, we probably did it in the previous life. You've got to learn. What the hell are you doing? Why are you so addicted to sex? What is this about? 
Why you? Why are you seeking attention from everybody and anybody? You know, come on, have some self worth. Look in the mirror and say, I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. Why did you have to lose this person? Think about this. This person loved you. You broke their heart, and there was no need of it. There was no need of it. They were good enough. They were. They were good enough. They were smart enough. They were just. They were better than the one you're with. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right. Judgments in the reverse. So your own self-doubt, your own lessons that you failed to learn can put you in this situation. Six of Cups. Uh, cups is Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. You're remembering the, the healing love that this person offered you. But there was an ending, death, change. This person let you go. Six of Swords, air sign again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They moved on. You left something behind when you moved on, though. And now you know there's a lesson here. Knight of Cups. This person was very charming and graceful. Maybe a mediator and arguments with people and negotiator, right? Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I think that there's something about materialism that you possess, that you hoarded it, insecurities of money and wealth. That you, maybe you grew up where you didn't have a whole lot and, you know, pinching pennies or living poor or being called that, you know, the poor family or like made, being made in front of by kids because the clothes wasn't always the best and you had to prove something to yourself about that. You were going to ever be made in front of by the clothes you wear again. The moon's here in reverse. You're releasing these fears and anxieties you want to, right? You self-deceived yourself. The moon's in reverse. The moon is a secret keeper. Illusions, delusions. You want to, you're recovering, though, Nine of Swords. You're ashamed of what you've done, the guilt. Maybe you should talk to somebody in the mental health field. Not your friends. Seriously, a serious person that can listen to you and give you sound advice because I think the advice you're getting from your friends is not good. It's not enough. It's sort of like, you know, sympathizers, but it's like, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? They, they, they give you the wrong advice. Like, they, they tell you to stay stuck with there's nothing you can do you not they don't know about spirit or they don't believe in spirit or they're just whatever they just like they you, it's something you know you screwed up man what are you gonna do you know what i mean you gotta sleep in the bed you lot you made or whatever something like that lie in the bed you made yeah have another drink or something like that i don't know five of cups um there's a mourning there's a grief Yep. Six of Wands, but there's success and victory. There's, there's somebody that's successful and victorious, and I think it's the person that you walked away from. You're seeing that. This is where the envy is coming in. You know, they're happy, and they're happy without you. And at one time, your happiness was tied to their happiness. Their happiness was tied to yours, but now it's the opposite. The Empress, yeah, this is who it is, man. The Empress. Sensual, beautiful, creative, right? Somebody that you're watching, kind. It's always kind to you. Ten of Pentacles is here, but in the reverse. Where you're having money problems. Instability in your life. Conflicts over money. Yeah. This person is having a better situation. And maybe you, you're you not wishing that to be true. 24, 24 on the clock. Don't do that. Don't block another person because you're miserable in your situation because that'll keep you blocked for a long time my friend ace of swords is here you want a breakthrough yeah you want understanding of why and i think you're learning why you're in your situation but you want to get out of it the fool you want to take a leap of faith you want freedom from this prison that you're in is what you're saying four of cups you need to choose happiness in the reverse hmm 
page of pentacles in the reverse you've been very foolish and immature you missed a chance with that person and you want eight of swords in the reverse you want freedom but you got to surrender is what it's saying here surrender to the timing that's the key here surrender to the timing but also do the work do the work do the shadow work start having more self-worth stop worrying about money and just keep plugging away pay the bills right that are necessary to pay make um uh, payment plans if that's the case to try to keep some money so you're not blowing it every week on bills where you don't have any money for anything else you know you gotta live right but realize that you're where you need to be right now because you need balance and you need to learn that lesson of self-worth three of cups there's friendship community you're in with flynn you know you're in with these people you're in in this situation but there's there is a community though there is a person that is positive towards you in that friendship that does give you sound advice if you don't listen to that person and that's why you got obstacles three of wands obstacles frustrations you feel like you're being stuck two of swords in the middle between the life you want and the life that you have right now that you don't want. Mm. Power dynamic is off too. This maybe the six of pentacles for person. You're a boss, but you're being led by this other person that you're with right now. They're controlling you. Eight of cups. You're staying in a bad situation, right? Because you have this home. You have this stability or at least it looks like that on the outside four of wands but there's lack of closure and you feel incomplete you feel empty in this world the world is in reverse you missed a chance with somebody that was very stable you made a bad investment ace of pentacles in reverse mm. and you're reflecting on that and it's keeping you up at night you're this king of cups you will be this king of cups you're a counselor leader balanced head of the heart this is something you have the ability to become, this king. But there was an immaturity there. But I think that you're learning your lesson. And as you learn the lesson, the door is going to be open for choices and change. Right now, it's stagnation, right? Same old, same old. But there is going to be a change in this connection where you're going to have the ability to move forward. The King of Cups is a balance of head or pot. I think you need to get that balance, and that's why you're here. You have that future, right? Past, present, and future energy. The High Priestess is here. There's an inner voice that's telling you what you need to do, and you're not listening to that. That is going to be the key, your inner intuition, to unlock and move forward. It's almost going to happen so suddenly you're not even going to realize the door opened and you're going to be able to get out. Mm-hmm. You made a bad choice. The lovers is in reverse. And you, I don't know, there's somebody that's king of wands and the reverse could be a female though. That's very dominating, tyrannical, vicious. Yeah. Nine of wands is here. Wands is Aries Leo Sag, if I haven't said that. You're persevering though. It's exhausting you, but I think you're near success here to, to get out of this cycle. You were playing it safe with this person, two of wands in reverse. Because it's somebody that you used to, low vibing, page of swords, somebody that's cynical or gossip, insulting them, sarcastic person. But there's a harvest, there's a reaping, there's progress that's happening you're not aware of. Seven of Pentacles is here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a resolution of conflict. Yep, Five of Wands. In the reverse. You resisted the change that it would have moved you in a different direction. The Tower is in reverse. And it's burdened you ever since. Ten of Wands. But yeah, there's an exhaustion. There's a victim mentality, right? You've been betrayed. Ten of Swords is here. 
your self-doubt and low confidence strength is in reverse created this problem but the devil's in reverse now so you're going to be released from this you're going to be released and justice is going to come truth honesty cause and effect good karma yep rest and relax man go into meditation inner calm put on some youtube um there's some beautiful like meditation ones put your headphones on and there's moments where you can have peace from this cackler that you're with and you'll be able to meditate i'm telling you that's going to help you more than anything right now that's going to help you more than anything right now that's all i have for you you uh as far as this reading except to say that your mind is what's created this blockage Open up your mind, open up your heart, and change will happen. Thank you so much for joining me in Adverse Aries 80 Day. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe because I'd love to have you. Until next time, my friends. Be safe out there. Be blessed.